Hi crafters and welcome to Technique Tuesday. This is Creative Moments by G and I'm G. And today's tutorial is all about double Z folds. This is a fantastic fun fold, but I'm going to show you how to do it three different ways. So let's head down to the crafting table. Let's get busy. Okay, the first way we are going to cut our cardstock to create a double Z fold. So you need to decide what colors you're going to use and what color you want your base card. And I want my base card to be this beautiful berry burst. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer and I am going to cut it to be 11 by 4 and a fourth. Now this is already 11, so I'm just going to cut the short side to be four and a fourth. And I want to remind you, all the measurements will be listed over on creativemomentsbyg.com. Go to my blog and then find double Z fold. So we're going to take that apart and next we are going to make some score lines. So we are going to score at two and three fourths and five and a half. Now this is a very simple double Z fold and you can do so much with it. Now I'm going to leave my trimmer out because we have a lot more cutting to do. But here is the card and put the large side on your right hand and go ahead and take that score line and just fold it over. Get your bone folder, give it a good crease, and now we're going to fold back using that score line and once again give it a good crease. And now we have our Z fold. Now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and cut our panels for this Z fold. I have already selected some absolutely beautiful paper. This is one of my favorites and it will also be listed on my blog. And we are going to lay it down right here on the back panel just to make it pop. So let's grab our adhesive. The next thing we want to do on this card is create the actual Z-fold mechanism that goes on the, the cover and then on the inside. And to do that, you need to cut a strip of paper that is three by nine. So we're going to go ahead and cut our strip on Pretty Peacock. We have it three. We're going to extend our arm. We're going to cut it at nine inches. We are going to score at three and six. I'm just going to put this aside. Once again, go ahead and put your right hand fold to it and then fold away and let's give those a good crease. Now bring in your card. Let's see how this works. The way to lay this down is to get it centered just like this and then we'll be gluing it so that when you open it up you have it open up just like this. But before we do that we want to go ahead and decorate this mechanism right here. So we're going to cut some squares to go right here on this area. And our squares need to be two and three fourths. So let me cut two squares. Fits right there. We're going to cut one more. We're going to cut one more square. Two and three fourths. Now, we are going to stamp our image right here because this is the one that you're going to see. 
Now here's another tip. When you are stamping a sentiment, go ahead and line it up on your grid paper and then bring your acrylic block to it and you know it's straight. So I'm going to use my Knight of Navy and I'm going to stamp right in the center of this last square. Tap, tap, tap. Look how pretty that is. And now we are ready to go ahead and lay this down on our mechanism. Now we're not adding dimensionals, we're just laying straight down to the mechanism. If you were going to stamp these squares, I would go ahead and stamp them before you glue them down. Just in case you have a uh-oh, you want to make sure that you can create another square. Just another tip. But I have cut out some of those beautiful flowers from the patterned paper, and I am going to use those to decorate. So here we have this, and now look at this. I took the side of one of those flowers. You might think that you can't use those, but you can. Look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to add this right to the side of this paper, just like this. You have some room to write here if you want. So let's go ahead and add some glue. This is a very simple Z-fold. And now I'm going to add this because I have my flower cut out, but I don't know exactly where I want to add it until I get it added to the card. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember, to add this, you just close your card just like this. Get it exactly where you want it. And then I'm going to hold it, and I'm just going to add some glue right here on the edge. Now hold that down, making sure everything's straight. And then I can lift this up, and now I can put glue on this side, because I have it exactly where we need it. I'm just going to take this, and close it down and hold it. Okay, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add these beautiful flowers just like this. So I'm going to just add them with some glue. Just add them right there. Look at how pretty that is. And we just cut out some of these flowers on this beautiful paper right here. Now, you can go ahead and write on the back of this by adding a mat. And we'll go ahead and do that. That gives you a little more room to write. Now let's move into our second style of a Z fold. Now this one's a little different. I have most things cut out for us already, but I am going to show you how to cut out some of the images. We start with the exact same Z fold. So you're going to have your 11 by four and a fourth. We're scoring it at two and three fourths and five and a half. And then look at this adorable paper that we're using. So let's go ahead and lay that down. This is a very different style of a Z fold because of what we're going to add to it. Now on these panels right here, I decided to go ahead and decorate them. So I just cut out the size panels that I needed. I ran them through the embossing folder, the hive, 
because we're all about bees on this one. And because this is a 3D, make sure you add enough glue to really get in those crevices. So we're gonna go ahead and put that down. Just gonna put that on there. Get my other one. Now for this card, I am using Be My Valentine. Look at that, so many cute things. This has a punch to go with it that you are going to love. So here's the initial card, just as before, but ours is gonna be just a little different in that we are cutting instead of this rectangle right here, we're gonna cut some circles. So the first thing you need to do is grab a basic portrait card. And I'm gonna bring in my embossing machine. I'm gonna open it up. Now here is just a card. You will need two of these for what I'm going to do, but it is so cute that you'll have some scraps to use later on for some other cards that you'll wanna make. So I am using the Stitched Shapes dies, and I'm using the largest circle. And what you wanna do is take your circle and put it over the fold, but not completely. You see how there's a little bitty hole right there? Can you see that? We're gonna bring it back as close as we can without cutting it. And we're gonna go ahead and put it right down here at the bottom so we have all this extra scrap to use later on. So once you've done that, go ahead and just tape it. And it's barely, barely not attached, but you can see just a little hole there. We're going to run it through our embossing machine. And when you pop this out, you will have two circles that are attached. Look at how cute that is. Has a little flat edge right there because it is attached. You can save this in your scrap box as you create more fun cards using this. Now, you'll need to cut two of these. So go ahead and cut two of them. And then I use the next circle in this set to cut out a smaller circle. You don't have to do that, but I wanted to cut it out. Now look at that, look at how cute that is. I wanted to add some dots. So I went ahead and I cut out this circle and I ran it through another die that has some dots cut out. And that is included in your supply list over on my blog. So we have our two black circles cut out and they're attached. We have our dots, our smaller circles with our cutouts right here. And so now what we need to do is attach these together. So I'm just going to attach them just like this, making sure that that crease is in the same place. This is such a unique Z fold. We're just making sure the fold is right where we need it to be. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and add our other circles. And this is really just for decoration. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue. Okay. 
Okay. The next thing we want to do is get this laid down so that it closes and opens up. Look at how cute this is. Look at how cute. So what we want to do is close it, go ahead and open it, and we know that we need a little bit of glue right here. So this time I'm going to put it over here so it gets in those crevices. We go ahead and shut it and hold it. Now, while this is gluing to the card, because remember, this is a 3D, so I went ahead and I set a punch on it. Just set anything you want on it. We're just going to move it right there. I went ahead and I stamped the cute little B. Now, remember I said it has a punch, so we have our punch right here. But I also created a template. This makes it so much easier when you go to punch it out. So you just punch any cardstock using your punch and then you know exactly how to stamp it so that it fits perfectly in the punch when you go to punch it out. So now we can go ahead and grab this, open it up, and we can punch it. Okay, we are going to add these little guys right to the front. And we're going to use some dimensionals. So let's just get some dimensionals added to the back. Now on his little wings, we're just going to add them with some glue, just like that. Just a little bit of glue. Just going to put him right on the front of the card. And now we're going to stamp our message using the Knight of Navy. And then we're going to have a piece of white paper on the back of this so that you have plenty of room to write. And because I have this paper right here, I'm going to go ahead and stamp at the very bottom, it's always been you. Okay, we can add this in just a moment. We're going to use our scissors and cut around this so that we can add it to the front of our card right here. Now this is a really cute and unique Z-fold card using the images of a circle. Of course, you could go ahead if you wanted to use hearts. You could use hearts. You could attach them at the top just like we did. What you need to do is be careful and don't cut them apart Go ahead and set that die off your base card just a little bit so that it's still attached at the top. Okay, I'm going to bring this in. We're going to add this right here to the front. We'll go ahead and set it up on dimensionals. So we have the front of the card just like this. Look how cute that is. We have our hive right here. You open it up and you have circles and it is so easy to do. Now we're going to close it, turn it over, and just add this to the back of our card. We will have completed our second Z fold. Now this is the one that is the the most creative, I think, and it's only because it has those circles as the Z fold. Look at that. <laughs> so cute, right? We're going to set him up. We're going to set him up so we can see him just like that. We're going to bring in our second one. 
And now I'm just going to show you the third style. It is very easy to create. It is a portrait card, but it's a Z fold. The dimensions will be over on our blog. And then we simply added a mat. We double matted it and added it to the front of the card. Look at how beautiful that is. That is your third style of a Z fold. And look at that beautiful embossing folder that we used behind these flowers. So beautiful. What do you think? Take a moment and leave a comment. Which is your favorite? This is our first one. This is a traditional double Z. You open it up just like this. Very traditional. Using your squares to cover the middle as the mechanism. Then we created our B. This one uses circles, so much fun. And then this one is so elegant. This is just so incredibly beautiful. I love this one. But we would love to read your comment. Let us know which is your favorite. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on three different ways to create a double Z fold. If you were inspired just a little bit, would you go ahead and subscribe to our channel, hit the like and share. We want to grow our channel in 2024 and that's how you show YouTube that we're working hard for y'all. Well, Maudie, my sister and I want you to go out and have a fantastic day. Get busy making these cards and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.